Hello fabulous superstar Aries. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of August 2020. I am your astrologer Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is an important month for you. It was late last month that Mars went into shadow. Mars is your ruling planet and right now in your sign. This entire Mars retrograde season will be spent with Mars in your sign. It's just that now, this month, Mars is especially active connecting with other power players throughout the month. And what this says as an overall theme is that it may be a time that feels stressful for you. Whether it is that you are feeling very determined to complete something, to do something, or whether it is your own energy feels like it is heightened at moments or uh, feeling depleted at others. It is that much more important for you to take the best of care of you. There are Mars retrograde special horoscopes, of course, so you may want to check that out, and I will link to it in the description below. Outside of that, though, we do have very important lunar events taking place this month right out of the gate. It is going to be right around the 3rd of August that we will have this month's full moon. Now this full moon is one that isn't going to just be relegated to a single day. Rather, this is energy you're gonna be feeling as you enter the month and it will build and crescendo right around the exact of the full moon. Now, part of what makes this energy distinct is that the full moon will be setting up what is known as a T-square with Uranus. This is a conversation of tension and there is an energy here of surprise, of a heightened sense of things changing very quickly and trying to figure out what to do about it. Now for you, this full moon is taking place in a part of the sky that has to do with friendships. It has to do with group endeavors as well. Full moons tend to bring things to culmination, to fruition. Uh, full moons are also honest. They help you to get honest about how you really feel. They can bring emotionality, but Uranus in its own way is honest as well. It's just that with Uranus, the honesty can feel like it has come out of nowhere. It could even feel uncharacteristic. So chances are it may very well be a moment of truth where it comes to your alliance with another person. This could be a friendship, but it could also be your role within a group project. It is gonna be at this time that it feels that things are changing rather quickly there might be uncharacteristically strong reactions playing out at this time as well. And this might also be a time when you realize that perhaps certain friendships or certain endeavors that you've been engaged in, well, perhaps it is that they have reached the point that they've gone as far as it is that feels right to go. This can be a dramatic shift, of course, an understanding of what it is that you no longer want to participate in, but also whom it is that perhaps no longer feels like a genuine sense of connection and friendship to you. Now, regardless of what happens, remember the key here is, is that it is honest. There's gonna be a lot of energy, a lot of tension for a lot of people out there. So as much as you can, and in particular you, because of all the things that your ruling planet in your sign is going through this month, it makes it that much more important for you to be taking the best of care of yourself. Pay attention to what it is you feel. Allow your emotions to rise and acknowledge them. But know that ultimately this can also be a time when you learn a whole lot about yourself and you learn to transcend the more difficulties within dynamics, but also within you so that you can feel truly strong and empowered within yourself. That is, of course, the larger lesson that you are engaged in as we are entering more fully into Mars shadow and Mars retrograde season. It will be right around the 19th of the month that we have a new moon, and this is like night and day, very different energy playing out at this time. Whereas in the early part of the month, it can feel very tense. It can feel that things are unpredictable in a way that doesn't feel easy. This energy is one of fun. It is one of clarity, one of empowerment. And I feel like it is gonna provide you a bit of a respite considering all the other things that are happening in the sky around this time with your ruling planet Mars. This new moon will be speaking in supreme harmony with your ruling planet and will also be happening hand in hand with Mercury in the sky. 
Now, this is a part of the sky that has to do with joy and elation. It has to do with fun. It has to do with you connecting to what it is that you are truly passionate about, understanding what you really want to do in your heart of hearts in every area of life. Creative endeavors are covered here, as well as children that you may want or children that you have. And so on one level, this can be some very good news related to a child near and dear to your heart. Again, it could be children that you want. There could be some good news on that front also. That Mars connection does speak to fertility, being high, feeling especially empowered, getting great information. That information piece, of course, is Mercury. But this can also speak to, of course, you feeling your creative best, you realizing more clearly what you want to be devoting your time to, devoting your energy to. Now, for those of you who use your creativity to your advantage, it can be this new moon that represents practical opportunity. At the very least, I see this time as one of joy. And so where it is that you are gathering with others, and I know that there's a lot of social distancing taking place right about now as well, even with that social distancing, you may find moments of genuine joy to share with others. Now, where it comes to matters of love, that new moon is a powerful one. And that new moon having to do with matters of heart includes romantic love as well. For those of you who are open to meeting someone new, I think this is going to be one of the best moments of the year, actually, to get your flirt on. If anybody out there is going to benefit from this energy, you are one of the signs most likely to do so. And so whether it is that you're being spontaneous or in other ways connecting with other people, well, this can be a time when you find spontaneous and energized moments to make a connection with another. Again, this is energy of flirtation that I'm seeing here. Now, this can also speak to dating as well. So if it is that you are just starting to date somebody, um, then this can be lovely energy for feeling a greater connection, feeling like they are a respite outside of the other things that may be happening in your life and feeling as if the connection on a heart level continues to grow strong. It is also possible though, and especially this is the case if as you're starting the month, there's just somebody new, but you're not really sure. Well, look, this new moon could bring somebody brand new that does feel like a more heart oriented and genuine connection. And for those of you in an established bond, what this new moon promises is the romance. That's what this part of the sky represents. And so you may feel as if the romance is returning in key ways. And it is going to be at this time that you may be considering and talking about changes where it comes to children in your life. Again, whether it's children you want or children that you have. However, also know that this energy doesn't necessarily have to work out that way. And so there are always things that you can do to direct this energy in different ways, more creative endeavors. And of course, endeavors that have to do with being able to feel an awakening on that heart level with your partner, which especially if it is that you haven't been connected for a while, on that level, if you have felt that the relationship has become routine, as it can sometimes do in long-term relationships, well, this should be a lovely reawakening of the love you share. What I love about this month for you, there is a lot going on. And I know for the Aries out there in particular, because of Mars, it is going to feel a little bit like a roller coaster. And yet there is so much promise. There's so much potential here. There is very tense energy, especially at the beginning of the month, but that will transform. That will give way to you understanding more clearly what you truly want, as well as the pathway towards actually achieving those desires within. It is when you trust that most creative urge that you can find yourself touching on a windfall of some kind. In fact, I would say, of all the signs out there, right around the days of that new moon, you may want to consider a calculated risks of sorts. Make sure that it is the calculated type because we are, again, Mars is going to be having tense connections with other power players. And so it does suggest that there may be work involved. There may be wisdom that is being cultivated now. And yet this new moon, also represents a fresh opportunity that feels like a win. 
Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more, all of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.